Commanders have two players in the most recent top 100 list. Terry McLaurin's obviously number one. You'll be surprised who's number two. And we've got some Josh Harris sale news that affects Joe Gibbs. Mm, interesting. All of that and more coming up on the Daily Commanders update for Tuesday, June 20th, 2023. Let's go. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Daily Commanders update on Ref the District. I'm the stoner, Trev and Nathan. They are off today. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but don't worry. Don't worry. They are coming back. I haven't like taken some monopoly over this thing. They got stuff going on in their life right now, and apparently I don't. But let's get right to it. Before I do, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and the notification so you know when we're putting stuff out, which, by the way, is all the time. Okay, so the most recent top 100 list just came out, and I'm going to share that with you here. All right, I'm going to put my old man readers on, so hopefully there's not too much glare, though, so sorry. So this is Pete Prisco, his top 100 players coming into this season. He's got quarterbacks at one, two, three. Makes sense, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Joe Burrow, I mean, that's debatable with Jalen Hurts coming on last year. Same with Trevor Lawrence. Uh, You've got Lamar Jackson. You've got Justin Herbert. But, you know, you can quibble with that all you want. Those are probably the top three quarterbacks. And then you've got some of the best defensive players. Of course, Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year. Miles Garrett. Travis Kelsey, the best offensive weapon in the league. And then you've got the best receiver in Jefferson. And then you've got some uh, defensive game wreckers in Micah Parsons and Aaron Donald. And then Trent Williams at 10. Okay. That's great. I what I'm surprised about if you go down this list, by the way, where where's Jalen Hurts? Where is there's Herbert at 22, Lawrence at 23? When do you get to Jalen Hurts? Rogers at 29, Jalen Hurts at 31. I'm kind of surprised by that. But let the Eagles fans worry about that. I hope Jalen Hurts ends up at the bottom of this list by the end of the year because he didn't play well. Nothing personal, Jalen. I just don't like your Eagles. All right, so let's get to who the commanders have in this list. I'm going to get my little notebook out. And I think nobody has a problem with Terry McLaurin being in this list. It was just a couple of years ago when he wasn't making these lists and we were all up in arms. But now he's making the list, so that's great. Let's go right to his spot, which is number 68. There you see him at number 68, just ahead of Devontae Smith from the Eagles. Now, 68 is probably a pretty good spot for Terry McLaurin. We all know and love him. If he had better quarterback all these years, he'd probably be a lot higher. But he's not. He didn't have a better quarterback for the last few years. He's had like nine quarterbacks, whatever the number is. You can probably let me know in the comments exactly what the number is. But because he hasn't had better quarterbacks, that's why he can't be up higher on the list. So I'm okay with 68. Here are the receivers that are ahead of him. And there are 12 receivers ahead of him. They rank him 13th, which which I don't have a problem with. They almost have him 14 with Devontae Smith. Uh, But if you go through all the quarterbacks, they've got Garrett Wilson ahead of him. That's surprising. Garrett Wilson has had one good year. There you see Jalen Waddell that's in front of him. He's the number two receiver on his team. Ooh, that's moving him down the list a little bit. And then, of course, uh, Debo Samuel, DK Metcalf. You're not going to have a problem with any of these guys. And then you get up into the to the real studs. They've got CeeDee Lamb ahead of him. He's had a better quarterback. He's probably about the same receiver Terry is, but he's had a better quarterback. Therefore, his numbers are higher. You can argue with it. I get it. I would put him in the same category. Then you've got A.J. Brown, and then you've got all the studs. Cooper Cup, Justin Jefferson, uh, Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, Jamar Chase, Tyreek Hill. All those guys are above him, and all those guys should be. Okay, so if you haven't looked it up already, I challenge you to tell me who you think is the next commander on this list. I will give you that is obviously a defensive player. And if you haven't looked it up, you're going to be very surprised. And So write it down and then put in the comments who your first thought was. If you haven't seen it, if you've seen it, it's obvious already. 
but it's going to be very, very surprising to you because it was to me. Although I'm a big fan of the dude. And if you watch our show, I'm always hyping him up. So who would you expect? Obviously, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne. Those two are studs. They're pro bowlers, no less. These guys got huge contracts. But let's go down. He's number 85 on this list. 85. Who do you think that is? Let's scroll. Drum roll, please. Do I have a drum roll on this thing? Let me check. Drum roll sounds. I have a rim. I don't have a drum roll. Nathan's got that on, on his. So, um, I got, I got nothing that I can put on there. Uh, well, let me, let me tell you who it is. Here we go. We're scrolling down. We're getting to that number. Justin Fields, by the way, being on this list, that's a crazy spot for Justin Fields. I love Justin Fields, but he's done nothing to deserve a top 100 ranking. So you might just throw out this whole list, but here we go. Ready? Number 85. Here's 84. DJ Reader, defensive end for the Bengals. Number 85, Cam Curl, safety. And by the way, it even says right on there, who? Pay attention. This kid has developed into one of the best young safeties in the game. He's good in both the run and against the pass. I'm a Cam Curl guy. If you watched our show, I love Cam Curl. I've loved him since his rookie year. He is everywhere. He's a fantastic safety. And here's another one for your freezing cold takes. He will get signed to a long-term contract after you figure out who the owner is. Right around training camp, early in training camp, he's going to get signed to a long-term deal. He is extremely valuable. He's the, he's the best. Mm, I shouldn't say it. I don't want to say it because you all get mad. He's the best defensive player. I know there's pain and Allen and Young and Sweat and, and, and even Forrest has come on, and now you've got these rookie corners and all that. Cam Curl is a fantastic safety. He's number 85, according to Pete Prisco. I love it because I'm a Cam Curl guy. So there you go. So that's the uh, the two that should be on the list. There, Payne and Allen didn't make it. Payne and Allen didn't make the top 100. And they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine defensive tackles on this list. And Payne and Allen are not on there. So Pete Briscoe saying that they are at best the 10th best tackles in the NFL. So that's the list. That's the Pete Prisco list. Let's move on to the next subject. All right. The next subject we have is the information that just came out about Josh Harris. There's two things to update with that. First of all, he's done everything that the NFL asked to fix his offer so that it complies with the NFL finance committee. He's picked two dates. The NFL has picked two dates that they want to get this sale finalized to vote July 20th, August 8th. Josh Harris wants. July 20th. He wants to get it done before training camp. And like I said, because he wants to sign some guys or the team wants to be able to sign some guys right now, they're kind of rudderless. They don't really have an owner. Jason Wright is the go-to guy until Josh Harris comes on board. He can't do anything right now because he's not officially the owner. So he wants to get it done quick. The tough thing is it's the middle of summer. It's when most people are on vacation. The owners are on vacation too. And it's going to be hard to get all 31 other owners into one spot to place a vote. But I, I feel like it's going to happen on July 20th. And then the other big thing, of course, is that uh, Josh Harris has brought in Joe Gibbs or he has bought into Joe Gibbs Racing. And Joe Gibbs has uh, become a limited partner in the group, um, Josh Harris's group, which is, of course, uh, sorry, let me get the exact name, Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment. So Gibbs is not going to be a partner into the commanders. He's not getting into that business. But, he, but they are becoming business partners. So really, what does that mean? It means that Joe Gibbs who is obviously brilliant as a businessman has basically endorsed Josh Harris by getting into other businesses with him. And as a 
as a longtime Redskins slash football team slash Commanders fan, if Joe Gibbs is good with somebody, then that guy's good with me. So that's another great sign. And here's a statement from uh, the, the Harris group. In recent years, I've been fortunate enough to get to know Coach Gibbs and am proud to count him as a trusted friend and advisor. Harris wrote in a release from HBSE on Tuesday. Joe's a winner. Yes, he is. That's me. That's not in the quote. First in football and then with Joe Gibbs Racing, he has led organizations that build winning cultures based on strong values and a deep commitment to family and faith. This investment and partnership aims to support his vision and allow Joe Gibbs Racing to continue its track record of excellence long into the future. So again, has nothing to do with commanders other than there's like the ancillary of, of those two getting in business together and basically Joe Gibbs endorsing Josh Harris as a businessman, and that's good enough for me. So I, I'm excited about this whole deal. I'm I'm super excited about Cam Curl making the top 100 list for Pete Prisco, but where's where's Payne and Allen? I mean, those guys is, those guys should be on the list. But that that'll do it for the Daily Commanders update today on Tuesday, June 20th. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Spread the word, by the way. Let others know that we're out here doing what we do and get that notification bell turned on so that we can send so that you'll know when we send out um, content, which is all the time. Appreciate everybody for checking in on us. And until next time, be a fan.